If I was to tell you there's such a thing as vegan fried chicken or vegan crab cakes, would you believe me? Splendiferous. Okay? Splendiferous. You should make that up. Yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna catch you, I'm gonna catch you. I found a perfect spot in Dinwiddie where you can kick back, relax, and enjoy Mother Nature. But their newest attraction allows you to fulfill that need for speed. Your love for the game is what? Is it this small or is it this big? This big. You may always see me in my dress clothes, but I'm not doing this just for fun. I'm training for Olympics. One Chesterfield woman is skipping next year's Richmond Marathon to train for the Olympic trials in 2020. For Jenny Bonnell, it all started with a whiteboard, a marker, and a message that focused on two key words, be kind. I'm just gonna shake, 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 shake. I shake it off, I shake it off, Woo! The next drawing is tonight at 11, and I'm telling y'all, I have the winning ticket right here. And if I win, he won't see me again. A lot of kids live for sports. But for Azan Delp, the, shot. the game of basketball is his first love. Azan's heart is as big as it comes. Go, 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 go. But his height doesn't match it. Azan is a seven year old from Verina who has the height and a body of a four year old. Did they pick on you because you're smaller? Mm -hmm. While that may be the case, Azan still doesn't let that stop him. It's like fuel to his fires. He trains harder, so when moments like this happen, <laughs> It's no fluke. And he came down and he pulled up from the volleyball line, not even the three-point line. In the Verina Rec League, Azan is known as the little Steph Curry. So what's your favorite shot to take? The three-point one. The three-pointer. And Azan gets the name because he's shooting behind the volleyball line on the regular, like his favorite player, Steph Curry. He's small like me, and he can make it. He does it at practice, so it's not like he just coming out here doing something that we didn't work on. With me being a competitive person, I decided to put his title to there the test. Go. So I used to play basketball too, and I was a pretty good shooter. You think you could beat me? Bring it. And oh boy, did he bring it. He beat me twice. The first time, I took him for granted. And well, the second, you can see what happened. On your side, Terrence Dixon. That's twice. NBC 12. You ready to go? Girl, you know you're talking to. I was all state in high school. This is me talking trash to the second place finisher of the Richmond Marathon. The Richmond Marathon ran a 240. So I beat that standard by about five minutes. Because of our outstanding time, she is now qualified for the Olympic trials. I feel like it kind of happened um, a little unexpectedly. Now she's training every day until 2020 with hopes of achieving her dreams. I see a marathon in your, in your future. So with me being a former athlete myself, I decided to train with her for a day to see how hard it really was. Do you think you're gonna be able to make it up this hill? And man, she could run. It was like I was running with the Energizer Bunny. I typically run anywhere from 12 to 20 miles a day. Um, and that's either kind of a long run through a park or I go to the track and do longer intervals. She just kept going. And I thought you said you were all state. And going. Hold on. And going. Hey, how you doing there? Not good. One mile down, 14 to go. You ready? No, I was a sprinter, not long distance. Let's go. I'm gonna catch up. And after I thought we were finished, we went to ACAC for more training. All right, now that we finished our 15 mile run, we're gonna go and do Pilates. Now, Pilates is not for the week. Wait, it wait, focuses. You're calling me weak. I'm not calling you weak. I'm just saying it's about to be proven out here in the Pilates okay, studio. We'll find out. She does Pilates for an hour. You need to have your ribs and hips connected. Terrence, lift your hips more. <laughs> And I think it's safe to say, I was terrible at it. Where's your Allstate Sprinter power now? Kira does this every day while being a full-time mom, wife, and realtor. There's been a lot of mornings where I have to get up at like 4 a.m. to get on the treadmill while my kids are sleeping to squeeze in a run. Through it all, Kira says what keeps pushing her while she runs is her family. With everything going on in my life, like I really couldn't do it without all the support of my family. Her goal is to eventually be able to run 110 miles a week. I feel like if I keep chipping away the way I have been, I'll be in a really good position to give it my all. While running is Kira's thing, she says she can't even imagine the sense of pride she would feel if she was able to represent the country. No matter what happens that day, I'm gonna be super emotional and just super proud that I made it that far. I think it's safe to say I won't be qualifying for the Olympics anytime soon. But if Kira makes it, she's gonna represent the country during a marathon event. On your side, Terrence Dixon, NBC 12. Happy World Kindness Day. At first, the day started off pretty rough. It's World Kindness Day, have you anything kind to say? No? Okay. A real day? Yeah, this is a real day. Today's World Kindness Day. Do you have any special loved one at home you want to say something nice to? 
Excuse me, ma'am, did you know today's Happy World Kindness Day? And you want to know kind words for your cousin, sister, girlfriend? Get your live brownie points. You good? All right. <laughs> Man, I am struggling. But then things turned around. Did y'all know today's Kindness Day? No, you did. You want to say something nice? Okay, come on over. You got any kind words for your son, James? Yeah, I hope he remains full of peace and joy and has a positive impact. I could just tell the world to be kind to one another. Everyone should spread love to each and everybody in every moment that they possibly can. Just say I love you. You love you? Who's, okay, who's your I love you too? My mom. Your mom? Okay, it's a great message. Do you have anything special to say to your husband or do you have anything special to say to her? I appreciate my husband every day. Oh. Did you know today was actually her birthday? I did birthday? not know. Today not was know. Happy World Kindness Day. But well, now you know. Now I know. How about you? She's a pretty good old girl. Uh, <laughs> yeah. How long have you been together? 47. 47 years. Wow. 47 years. Wow. Yeah. 47 years. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. All right, that's a wrap. I got everyone. I achieved my goal. Happy World Kindness Day. On your side, Terrence Dixon, NBC 12.